Day 3. Harden not your heart. Harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Psalms 95, eight. When the word of God comes into your life, choose not to ignore his voice. His word has the power to transform your life forever. It's your choice to live in bondage, or you can choose to live a life that's powered by Christ. Christ wants to set you free from every bondage. He wants to release you from every habit. Christ wants to propel you and give you a new life in Him. Through Christ, your life will never be the same. When God's Word confronts your sin, choose to allow His power to destroy every burden and to break every barrier. God's Word is power and destroys every yoke. Let his word transform you. When you choose to harden your heart, you'll stay in a place of bitterness. Stubbornness will keep you in bondage. And like the children of Israel who stayed in the wilderness for a full generation, your disobedience will keep you stagnant and stuck in a dry place. Generational stagnation is the result of disobedience. Seek and surrender to God. Prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, my heart belongs to you. There is no one like you in all the earth. My heart surrenders completely to you. Father, I repent of my sin and I turn to you. My heart trusts in you. Father, you are my strong tower. Father, you are my strength. Father, you are my shield and buckler. In every season of my life, you are there. Father, I know that you are with me. In every valley, you are with me. On every mountain, you are with me. In every storm, you are with me. I surrender every facet of my life to you forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 95, 8. Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness. The Lord says, Do not harden your hearts as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness.